we're doing some programming for a Honeywell UDC 2500 oven controller. We use these for a lot of Bako ovens and oh this is Dave the Oven Guy from Custom Design Chemicals and I want to tell you today about the alarm that we use to start up our afterburners or our process chamber once the afterburner or the process chamber reaches a certain temperature. So in general, we go with the way the old Bako ovens worked in the 70s and 80s, where the process chamber, the lower oven chamber, would start first and wait till it got up to 300 degrees, 400 degrees before the afterburner would go on. They did this to save on gas, basically, because it's a little bit cheaper, because you're not outgassing at all for your first 300 degrees of burning off a paint or a motor. Uh, you could also use this to turn on your afterburner first, so you're more guaranteed not to put out any pollutants. So you can wait till your afterburner gets up to a certain temperature before you go and start up the lower chamber. But that's a little bit more complex. It's a lot easier to, to do it the way the original Bakos were because the ovens are wired for that. So the way you change that parameter, if you wanted to change the temperature that your oven would, that your afterburner would start up at, is you go over and you press your setup button. Press your setup button and repeatedly press it until you go to the alarm group and you go to the alarm group once you go to the alarm group you press your function key which is above your setup key and that brings you into your function prompts and we want to change we want to go to the second one actually which is the temperature and you could change the temperature up or down to get the temperature that you want to run you want your afterburner to start at and that's under the alarm group and it's the it's the um, second function that you go through it's the a1s1vr and you could go through the other different functions if you want there but if you press the setup key you go back to you save any changes that you made and to go back to your initial display you press the you press the lower display button and that brings you back to your initial display this controller is actually set with two parameters two set points this is set point two which is set at 800 if you press the set point select button here on the right you could go over to set point one and when you're running the oven, if you want to change the set point, you just move it up and down. So basically, that's how you would change that temperature parameter where your upper chamber would start um, away from the lower chamber. There's a little, some little tricks about um, programming the UDC 2500. That's why we usually do them before we program them before we send them out to customers. This is Dave the Oven Guy from Custom Design Chemicals. You can find more about our oven services and our oven repairs by calling 312-550-7083 or visit cdchemicals.com. And thanks for watching.